Western monarchs are rapidly declining. Their population is down more than 99% since 1980, scientists say. Hi, I'm Kathy Hunting, environmental health scientist and UC Marin Master Gardener. In this video, we ask, why are the monarchs disappearing? And what can home gardeners do to help? But first, let's take a look at their habitat and life cycle. Divided by the Rockies, Western monarchs overwinter along the California coast, while Eastern monarchs migrate to Mexico. Overwintering sites in Marin include Bolinas, Stinson Beach, and Point Reyes Seashore. Monarch butterflies cluster in treetops to keep warm. They roost on eucalyptus and conifers in a state of partial hibernation. In early spring, they wake out of a four-month diapause or rest. They fly inland to mate. Females lay eggs only on their host milkweeds. A tiny egg on the back of a milkweed leaf hatches into a baby larva or caterpillar. A monarch caterpillar eats only milkweed, lots of it. It molts five times, growing over 1,000 fold, then it hangs upside down and forms a chrysalis. When metamorphosis is complete, the adult butterfly emerges. Butterflies have been around for 175 million years. Why are the monarchs disappearing now? Loss of habitat, pesticide, and climate change are a few of the problems. Climate change brings drought and extreme storms, meaning that flowers may not provide nectar at critical times in the insect's life cycle. What can we do? to help this amazing insect. Hi, I'm Alice Kaysen. I'm a UC Marin Master Gardener, and I've been studying the monarch butterfly for many years in school gardens, community gardens, and here in my home garden. Choose nectar plants for the mature butterfly that bloom spring, summer, and fall. This is a good choice. It's Verbena elasia de la Mina, and it has a, it's a California native, drought tolerant, and has a very long bloom period. The most important plant to encourage monarchs to come and visit your garden is the milkweed plant. It's the host plant for the monarch caterpillar. In Marin County, we have the Asclepolis fascicularis, or narrow-leaf milkweed. It's the place where the monarchs will lay their egg and the caterpillars will find something to eat. Look for monarch eggs on the underside of the leaf. The monarch caterpillar hatches from an egg in about four days and becomes a tiny caterpillar. Hi, I'm Morgan Patton, the Executive Director of the Environmental Action Committee of West Marin, uh, or EAC. We were formed in 1971 and we're a grassroots environmental organization based in Point Reyes Station. We published the Marin Monarch Movement Report, which was an analysis of how individuals and organizations throughout Marin County are helping to support the monarch population. And together we're working to figure out how we can best support and enhance monarch habitat here in Marin County and beyond. We stress the right action in the right place right now. Right action means planting the right plants like native milkweeds for your area and not planting harmful non-natives like tropical milkweed. In the right place, we're encouraging folks to not plant milkweed if you live within five miles of the coast. And right now, we need to make a call for everyone to talk to their local nurseries to make sure that they remove non-native tropical milkweed and stop treating their plants with insecticides. Other opportunities to help monarchs are installing nectar gardens at schools, helping steward overwintering sites, there are many in the Bay Area, joining a citizen or community science group such as iNaturalist or Monarch Watch. 
We can all do something to help this iconic butterfly, whether it's individual actions in your own garden or working within your community or with other partners and your friends. We all want to see a future with this iconic Western monarch butterfly.